right you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be taking a look at how do you back up your computer now this is an age-old question and uh, many people don't back up their computer enough so I wanted to bring your attention to this software which you can now get for free for a short period called ESUS to do backup home 9.2 now they're offering you a free copy of this if you download it as soon as possible and install it and use the code up on the uh, screen there when you load up your page now I'm going to install this and uh, go ahead and uh, put this on the system and make a backup of the system I just found it online and I thought it'd be very useful for you guys to get a copy and get it installed uh, especially for people that don't have any backup software so let's go ahead and download it and install it so um, first off I'm going to just copy this license key here so I'm going to get the free trial version and I'm going to save this to my desktop that's 114 megabytes in size as you can see there so we're going to save this to our desktop click save and that will start to download on our system okay so that's now downloaded and here we have our software so what we're going to do is install this on our system Now we need to click OK. We're going to accept their license agreement. And uh, what we're going to do is that you can take the tick out of this if you want to join. If you want to join their customer experience improvement program, you can do that if you want to. I'm just going to remove that for now. Click Next. And uh, basically, uh, it wants to put this folder to set as your default backup. So this is where you can set your default backup. So that's on an E drive and it's called my backup. So let's take a look at that. So it's trying to put this onto my external drive here. Now I've already got a location for this, so I'm gonna put it into that location. So it's always best to store your backups onto an external uh, R drive or a network drive that's uh, off the computer itself. So I've changed that location by just hitting browse and browse into the location and I've created a folder called backup and I've put the date. I like to put the dates on folders because it lets me know when I created that backup. So I'm going to go next. So it's going to start to extract all the files and put this onto our system. Okay, so the installation part is now finished. We can click on finish. Now what we need to do is open up our program. So this is our download file. We don't need that anymore, so I'm just going to remove this. You can store that for safekeeping if you wish. I'm just going to open up ESUS to do backup. And of course we're going to say yes to the user account control. Now we're in trial mode at the moment, but we're going to soon sort that out by putting in our um, serial number. And here we have our license code. So you can see now we're on a trial version at the moment. So let's put in that license code. And I'm going to activate now. And there we have it. You have a full activation uh, piece of software. So here it's asking you to create a WinPE. And this is important because if your system crashes and you need to recover, uh, you can use the WinPE uh, bootable disk to uh, reinstall your operating system from a backup via the WinPE. So I'm going to go ahead and create mine now. So what I've done is I've plugged in my USB flash drive. And you can see it here. Make sure you uh, format it and get it ready. So I'm just going to format my version here I've got a 16 gig one inside here hopefully that's enough and I'm just going to call this WinPE I'm going to quickly uh, start to format this it'll probably ask it'll probably do it for me during the installation process but I want to get that done now so let's create this now
Now it's asking us to create an ISO and we can do that here and proceed if we want to. Uh, you can do all this later on as well so you don't have to do all this now but it's advisable to get it done as soon as possible rather than put it off. You can see we're at the Create WinPE Emergency Disk is up the top. Compatibility mode is ticked and I'm going to go for USB in this case here and make sure you've got the right USB and I'm going to proceed. That's going to start to create our emergency disk now and this may take a bit of time so I'll speed this process up. So as you can see it wants to uh, format the drive anyway so I'm going to click OK here. So that's now completed. What we're going to do here is click on finish and that's now completed. Next we're going to open up our ESUS to do backup. Okay, so now we have our software here and you can see here disk partition backup, full backup, system backup, smart backup and so on. We've got loads, got clone here. You've got your tools here for create your emergency disk just in case uh, you never created it at the beginning, which you should have done. You've got your white data and stuff like that. We've got loads of goodies in here. And if you want to see more videos on this piece of software, then let me know in the comments section below. Uh, so I know exactly what you want to watch. You've also got your mail backup here as well. Now smart backup, let's take a look at this. We have got an upgrade available to us, which we'll do a bit later on. Now the smart backup is going to do all your documents, favorites, and as you can see here, computer, C drive, and stuff like that. So we'll do uh, the smart backup for this one, and uh, we're just going to allow it to go into the destination that I designated it to earlier on. And then, as you can see here, we've got the space here available for us. We've got plenty of space. So what I'm going to do here is click on proceed. And this will now start to copy all our data across to that location. And you can see here, please wait, back it up. And it gives you the estimated time, how long that's going to take. Now, depending on how much data you've got, will depend on how long it's going to take to back up all that information to uh, your drive and of course it's going through a USB flash drive or USB external drive so that might take a bit more time depending on how fast your computer is so we'll just let this go and copy all that stuff across and as you can see that was very very quick as you can see here it's uh, Smart Backup is protecting your files, so it's going to start to protect our files. You can see the location here which we created earlier on, and Smart Backup has already got our file here. There is other options here that you can have a look at. You can check your image. You've got your Recover button here. So we'll just let this work away. Now again, what we're going to do here, it, there is a full backup here as well, which you can look at. And this will do a full system backup. As you can see, you can check everything that you want to check inside here. And also, uh, you can see my drives here. We don't want to do those. Again, uh, you've got your system backup. This is going to just back up your system files. And you can back up this to that location also if you wanted to. But we have got a smart backup uh, there. So let's click on the recovery button. Now the recovery button is going to open up another box which is going to allow you to recover. And you can see here recover to the original location. And you can replace existing files that are there if you want to. And uh, also, you see here, you can proceed, or you can go specify a recovery location here. And again, this is just doing the user account here, so it's not actually doing uh, the operating system or anything like that, okay? So if you want to back up your operating system, uh, you need to make sure that you either do a full backup or you do a system backup. So let's do a system backup 
and we'll just do one of these just to make sure you understand the difference so we're just going to quickly go through some options here so we we'll leave the schedule alone and also we're going to backup options here automatic you can see here and the compression rate is normal we're not going to be touching any of this stuff you have got encryption here if you wanted to put an encryption on it uh, performance again you can set this up how you like and if you're doing this across network uh, you can tr uh, set up your network traffic uh, speed email notifications this will give you email notifications when your backup is then completed so if you wanted to walk away from the computer it let you know when it's done again uh, these are custom commands here and uh, offsite copy for FTP and also file exclusion here uh, so you can exclude certain uh, things so what we're going to do here is going to come back out of here cancel and uh, we're going to go into uh, the Windows 10 Pro here you can see we've got this uh, highlighted we're going to call this system backup we're going into the same location and uh, what we're going to do here is click on proceed and this is now going to make a backup of our operating system itself so you can see we've got two options that we've already started to do. We've got the smart backup and now we've got the system backup uh, doing its job as well. Now it's important to have uh, more than one backup because that way you've got um, a secondary safety net, if you know what I mean, if something goes wrong. So we'll just uh, back up the system files and then you can do a full backup and then that way you've got the system backup, a full backup and also a smart backup. Now while this is backing up, you've got the operation here and the operation is going to allow you to shut down after the backup is completed or you can go into hibernation mode or you can do nothing. So we're just going to leave that as is for now. It will give you the estimated time remaining on that backup. Um, remember this is going to take a bit longer than the smart backup because it's doing the system backup files here. Okay. So we'll let this just continue here. Now while that is backing up, I just wanted to show you the logs. So you can click into logs here and this will give you all the information about what's been happening uh, while you've been doing a system backup and a smart backup. So let's take a look at the details here. So you can see successful and it gives you the information right here. So it lets you know uh, what's going on and what time. So it's really good information here. Uh, let's go back one. And again, we can click on the uh, system backup and you get the information here. And if there's any warnings or any fouled, it will show up here. OK, so all you need to do is click on these and it will show you if there's an issue uh, with the uh, backup, or what you've been doing. And as you can see, now we have our backup now complete and you can back up and recover from here. And that's pretty much it. That's how you can use uh, ESUS to do backup, uh, to back up all your data. So I hope this one's been helpful to you guys. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.